watching this because I think these are amazing. They've unfortunately already sold out and already released, but I didn't talk about them on the podcast. It's the Jound Crocs. Jound, Justin Saunders, my guy, Justin Saunders, the guy that I was lucky enough to be featured on his blog back in the day right his little blog page thing that he's got um, i'm not sure if it's down anymore if it's here the mood board um the blog where if you scroll down to the bottom you'd say this is going to be the your most favorite blog ever and it'll basically be like a tumblr style type of blog with loads of amazing style pictures of like cars and interiors and you know buildings and architectural plans and plants and cool streetwear pics and a few of my pictures got featured on the jound fucking thing mood board i was like so it was a flipping honor back in the day to have that on there so big up jound for doing so but they did the collaboration with crocs like everybody else was doing and they did them in their own very special jound studio way and i honestly do think this might be one of the most best this might have been the best collaboration i've seen in a while because of how minimal they are and because of the, the how they resisted the temptation that everyone else does to kind of go crazy with the crocs and add all the accoutrements and have it be double sold and all this sort of stuff they just kept it very very simple so the classic croc that you know and love the ones that's the flipping chefs and sous chefs fucking you know choice shoe of choice which makes sense because they're in turn insanely comfortable to wear all the way around and essentially they are in the classic sort of like gray and white colorway i've not actually seen them in the pure white colorway but what i do like the best is this little red rivet sorry this golden rivet here where the strap is so it's got a really clear plastic you know a really clean minimalistic sort of colorway but then you've also got this nice amazing rivet here in gold um with obviously the jound logo being embossed in it. it's tastefully done very subtly done but i love it and of course on the strap itself you've got an embossed um version of molded sort of logo on there too that makes it look great um let's actually read the description because these are always really good the product descriptions they write them really well this is jound brands the crocs timeless classic clog design with meticulous attention to detail i fucking love that <laughs> results in two to distinctive pairs of clogs offered in white and slate gray um the embrace the original actually you know what would have been a nice actually like an off-white or like a cream but i like how to go with the white and slate gray right you've got a coke white sort of like ready for the club version and you've got like a worker's gray you've got like something if you want to be in a studio working you might want to nip out and you know water the plants you might want to nip off to the post office and drop off all your expensive magazines that you sold on depop or on vinted or on ebay or wherever you sell your shit but if you want to step out to the club if you want to step out to a wine bar and you want to put on some nice colorful you know um i don't know airy socks or whatever socks they sell in good hood for 60 quid you put those socks on you fucking you know you have an incense in your back pocket you put on your really expensive backpack and you keep it moving so i like that right there's one for the day one for the night like that's what i would do so it continues um i'm glazing them hard i know but i love jound uh um um that so the result is two distinctive pairs of clogs offered in white and slate gray that embrace the original silhouette and elevate it with the elegant brass rivets are they brass or even gold oh even better um, each bearing this, this distinctive jound sheriff logo on one side and a crocs logo on the other the iconic crocs logo is intentionally swapped out with a jound emblem on the heel strap and strategically positioned to be visible when the strap rests on the front oh so the jound is the right way around when it's at the front because most people if you, unless you're a fucking psycho wear the clogs or wear your crocs like that you wear them without the strap on the back you don't put them in never put your never put your crocs into sport mode unless you're gonna rob a shop or something unless you're gonna run into fucking you know apple and rip some of the display phones off of the fucking displays or you're gonna rush into flipping chanel and steal some shitty bags to sell to your you know to some barber down the road for the most part wear them without the strap wear them with the strap in the front and you have the jown showing and these brown rivets showing absolute flex i fucking love it um this deliberate choice is aimed at encouraging consumers to embrace a relaxed non-athletic context i love that wearing the footwear fostering a sense of ease and leisure rather than promoting the active on the go use exactly ease and leisure so like i said this is more of a worker thing you're going to be dragging your feet along the floor in your own home working like you were walking around a shopping center like a flipping chinese tourist and stuff right clickety clacking all over the place and then when you want to step out and you want to go pick up an eight ball or you want to meet your friends at the wine bar or go to this cool little restaurant you're going to put on the whites i love it um let's see some more pictures you see some of the lifestyle pictures you got the pictures obviously of them there i want to see what the other rivet said so they said one side says jound and the other side says crocs let's see that i haven't seen let's see that if i can see it here uh let's see 
Okay, so one side says drowned, as you can see there. Pure Coke white. Look fucking incredible. And then the other one should say Crocs, they said, right? Let's see if it says that. Oh, no, it's still drowned. Okay. I thought they meant it said it drowned. Okay, it doesn't matter. But still, they look sick. I thought that'd be quite sick if they had um, one on each side saying different things. But yeah, you've got the, you've got, you know what they look like in white. They look pretty sick. You've got the label on there too. Oh, so it says Crocs. Yeah, it does. My bad, it does. So it says Crocs on one side and John on the other. That's such a beautiful detail, isn't it? That's the thing about design that's really incredible, isn't it? You don't have to do much. Little edits, little changes, and it really does change the whole entire function of a shoe. That's why I'm eager to see um, John do a collaboration with Nike and do an Air Force One. I'd love them to do an Air Force One. I'm really desperate to do it because obviously they would rock it and make it amazing. Like just take the classic white Air Force One, maybe lux up the leather maybe add a different outsole or something little big details little design details that would kind of elevate the classic air force one to, you know to being a little bit more luxe a little bit more chilled and relaxed maybe make it into a mule i don't know i'd love to see them do it but i think this is a really cool um little um collaboration and i'm definitely going to try and get a pair of stock x to be fair i'm sure they're not going to go for that much money probably 100 pounds i'm assuming because their retail i think was like 75 dollars and look at the box too so clean and pristine white box with a jammed on the outside and then yeah you got the footbed thing and the same with the greys um both colors i'll definitely end up trying to get you see the greys there as well with the emblem on the side and then the lookbook pictures are fucking fantastic right the guys wearing the fucking white track suit with the white socks wearing the whites um you know looking like they're in some parisian ghetto somewhere looking fucking cool mais oui mais oui mon frère mon frère they look fucking great in the Crocs. Don't lie. I mean, I prefer, I'm wearing Crocs every single day, more so than I'm going to wear slides. I hate Nike and Adidas slides. I think they look fucking naff, but this look with the Crocs with some socks on is definitely the way to go. Definitely the way to go. A bit of DJing, a bit of clubbing. Um, not even clubbing, actually. Just some relaxed things, isn't it? Go to Pirate Studios and record a mix. Um, go, pop, you know, I mean, drop off some things at the post office. Maybe do some grocery run. But these are fucking perfect. I love them. Really, really amazing collaboration. Let me just see how much they are going for on um, StockX because that'll be a real litmus test. I'm going to say they're probably going for 135. That's my initial reaction um, or initial guess, I would say, for how much they're going for. So let's see. So let's go for the whites. Let's see how much they're going for because they already came out on the 14th. So they're not going to be available to buy for retail. So how much are they selling for on StockX.com? For the white pair of the Crocs in my 10, or maybe I'll get an 11 because my feet can sometimes be a little bit sticking out of the back if I get my actual shoe size. So let's see how much they go for in the 10. It's loading. Bear with me a second as I get this thing to load. Body being by the boom. Hopefully it does the doom. There it goes. There it goes. Okay, yeah, 138. It's saying that there was a last sale at 105, but they're going for 138. If I go for the other sizes here. So 138 in a size 10. Let me see what the other sizes are saying. Um, size threes are really expensive. So the smaller size is like 215. Um, and then a size above a size 11 for me is 137. Uh, but yeah, so it looks like the smaller sizes, size three to four seem to be the most expensive. And then the size 10 that I have, or that that's my shoe size, sorry, is going to be a, um, what you call it, 138. And then the gray pair so what's the most popular colorway the most popular colorway is definitely white it looks like and then the gray pair is 124 so not too bad to be fair i'm not gonna lie i'm definitely looking to get both of those um very very soon i love the brass little rivet on the side i love the two colorways because i think they're it's like a, it's like very rarely do you get shoes sometimes that come in a two pack you know um that you need and i think this is a good option i love this little graphic they got here now 20 pound lower um let me add this to my flipping list of what you call it favorite items so i can flip and keep an eye on them i'll add it in the 11 and the 10 so i kind of know wild one uh last sale was 152 in the grays or the slates but you can get them for 132 and let's see the other shoe sizes here yeah oh wow size three is 550 557 whoever's buying that gray for that price is crazy what does did someone sold a, a size four in the slates for 1000 fucking hell wow that is crazy so big up them um again can't wait to get these in hand myself they look absolutely fantastic 
and let me add actually the whites to my list as well and favorites so i've got them all already looked at and locked and loaded and as soon as i see a little bit of a drop in price boom i'm gonna bounce on them and i'm gonna get um a couple pairs for myself like i said very rarely do you see shoes come out where you say you need two um of them and i think i need two of these i need a two pack obviously i need the whites and the slate grays i can't be just having one I need the whites and the slate gray. So let's go 10 and 11 there. Let's click confirm. And now we're going. And now we're going. So yeah, big up Jound. Amazing collaboration. Love everything about it. And I can't wait to get these sexy beasts on my feet myself sometime very, very soon.